This song's pretty cool. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to Ark Knights. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I, uh... I still have an ear infection, apparently. Uh, I woke up this morning with a lot of pain in this ear, and went to the doctor. They checked out the ear and said that it's, it's still there and I need more antibiotics. So, I'm on antibiotics now. <laughs> Other than that, though, let's get into this. Um, I've not played a lot. Oh, right, there's one thing I wanted to do at the start of the episode. I haven't been playing a lot, really. Just the farming. Something that I did farm up enough of, though is this so let's start with promoting Degenbrecker when I pinned the medals on my soldiers the first cohort of Chagetta to complete my Chigetta. training I saw some pretty fine expressions on them I can see this ship has many with similar faces nice and that's about it that's why I can't, oh wow. Oh. What the fuck? 750,000 experience. Almost that much in LMD. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, wrong thing. Wrong thing! Oh shit. I don't know what that is, so if you want to tell me, tell me in the comments, because I'm not going to be doing it until I know what it is. So let's get started with this. I'm going to do details so we can watch the cinematic at the start rather than halfway through. Oh? Ow. Sorry, my ear hurt. I shouldn't have the headphones covering that ear then. Are we tiny? <laughs> or is that grass just huge? Oh no, we're just tiny. Okay. This is cool. So this is the generation, like the technology they developed. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> the four dimensional cube. Isn't he from where Vernal winds won't blow, or will never blow, or whatever? Blood in the water. Sharks. Okay. What the hell? Bro, you're pale. <laughs> that person looks familiar. The serpent surrounding her is pretty cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. Also, that doesn't look like a sword. She just has a brick of crystal. The hell? Beat drop? So she a healer, then? Okay. My headphones are falling apart. It's leaving little, like, white specks in my hair. Because these are so old. Okay. That's pretty cool. So she's like... I don't know, that's a serpent that we saw in the thing. It didn't really show all the characters, though, it felt like. Only him and her is all I really remember. Also, I should mention in this period, uh, videos... I'm starting school again, so videos will be cut down once again from every day of the week, at least on the first month. And instead of every day of the week, it's only going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. It's just the most, like, I can do that schedule without worrying about a video not going out. 
And, uh, I'm also going to be starting a job soon, hopefully, so. That's also why. <laughs> Not just cool. Where else could you see farmland like this? Rice has grown like wildfire. The stock's evenly... Lady? Oh, my cat just left. Okay. I didn't know she was in here. <laughs> Rice has grown like wildfire. The stalks evenly standing ramrod straight from the soil, like the fur of a stock beast. <clears throat> After autumn's end, under the b blowing wind and shining sun, they ripple as waves of heat wash over them. So we go like this. Oh shit, I hit space. Don't do that. Oh, it's her. It just showed her. Woman stands in the middle of the field. Stray stalks and leaves <clears throat> pulling at her clothes. She brushes them aside, wading deeper into the vast ocean of golden grain. Where are you going? To find some crops. Aren't these all crops? <laughs> I wish to find those that can be planted in lands far, far away. Why do you need to plant crops elsewhere? There's so much here already. Are they not enough? These are not enough to fill the bellies of all men. Oh? How long have you been searching here? A clump of soil begins to move. A talpa beast pokes its head out of its burrow. That dim tunnel leads to distant lands. Its miniature resident, too, a drifter from afar. Once it looks <clears throat> upon the boundless field, rippling and rustling in the wind, it lets out a sorrowful screech and dives back into the deep, dark underground. How are we supposed to know if the seeds we plant will sprout? How can we tell which way the weather will change? Okay. If you watch long enough, you will learn. If I watch longer, then I'll learn. Does that include things to come much, much later? As one sows, so one reaps. Okay. Okay, nerd. <laughs> What's with all the, uh... I don't even... I can't even think of the word right now. It's fine. Never mind. <laughs> These become crops, so what becomes of us? Where do we come from? After we die, where do we go? From the ground we sprout, and it is the ground we return. Man or crop, it matters not. This is the cycle of all things under heaven. So it's like the song you taught me to memorize, the 24 Jaiki... I'm sure I said that wrong. <laughs> Jaiki Solar Terms. Chun Yu Jing... Chun King Gu Tian. Okay. What the fuck? I'm not... I, <laughs> I'm not going to keep trying with that one. Let's see. We'll just pop up. Chun Yu Jing Chun King Gu Oh. Hey! What the hell is going on? Hey! Wakey wakey! Oh? Lao Ji? Mm, I'm awake. <coughs> How's it going? From the outside looking in... I get the impression the big guy isn't the obedient type. Yeah, I believe it's a bit more mischievous than some younger sisters of mine. Well, it might be best to take a, a break for a bit. This isn't one of Dust's daily doodles. Doodles? What? Wait too long and you'll and your head'll end up spinning. Spitting, not spinning. Because that would be too simple. Uh, you just need to take it slow. Haste makes waste, you know. You're right, I do feel a bit tired. Neon? Neon? Okay. Could you help pull me out? Is it a cat person? No! What What the fuck? What's with the heartbeat? If you two didn't show, I would have gone back home by myself. Oh, really? Let's see, which one of us got so scared just now that her face went as white as a canvas? Shut up. We're trying to keep the heart of the Farron Mook beating. Oh! That's what the heartbeat is. <laughs> it's not exactly instant noodles. Ah, when you told me this plan of yours, I thought you'd, lo you'd lost it for sure. I should have expected this sort of crazy scheme from you. It's just using a whole nomadic city to imitate a Farron Mook? I shape its body and you give it a soul. What could go wrong? You grow more capable and quick-witted by the day, little Nyan. Don't spoil her. What could she have done without the old woman from the Chianxi Bureau and not you, Shu? I've been helping out in the suit, the Swee Regulator here and there. Building up favors. They should come in useful. Come in useful. 
So what's the situation like now? Couldn't ask for better. But if we're going to be using these this thing in place of a real deal vessel, and if us poor little illusions want something to rely on after we get rid of the old timer, I'm afraid it still calls for some elbow grease. It's quite the troublesome little child, after all. Wait, so what's the good part? Aren't we all at square one? Also at square one? <sighs> now, I know what you're thinking. You put some effort into making this thing, too. You just want some recognition for your, your older sister, right? How juvenile juvenile of you. You developed as an artist, Dusk. It's been years since we last saw each other. But I can tell you're still diligent as ever. And, and never one to waste time. <laughs> I still can't imagine it. Passing off a fake body with sleight of hand isn't so hard, but it's going to make it an even bigger mess in the end. It'll just be a small portion of us that get that we carved off of ourselves. Wait, so is he trying to steal the heart of the Farron Moot? And that's why he had the cube? I don't know. The product of three sisters pooling their power and yet still incomplete. How will the twelve pagodas in five cities become a place where we belong? You may be right. But while I was within the scroll, I really did sense life. The beast walks with the generous earth, and in the beginning, we too grew upon this land. Perhaps this flower may actually bloom. She's like, ah. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's talk about something else. You don't know just how much a pain in the ass, in my ass, those court mandarins have been. They said they'd let us have the 12 pagodas in the five cities for a while so we can make a home for ourselves but what they really wanted was for us to give back to the old shan chi and also help them with some of their other problem man these yanis know know how to do business they went and turned our home into a bridgehead you ask them for one thing and they want two in return never did expect yanis technology could it be could have leapt ahead like that I mean, at this point, do they even need to fear this Sui anymore? If we do manage to finish this home, knowing that it'll be right under their watchful eyes makes me really uneasy. Also, how big a risk are we taking by doing this? I've got no idea myself. When you tore in the scroll before, I thought back to the time with Sanji. You worry about your older sister's little ink blot? <laughs> little ink blot? <laughs> well... There was that one time that you managed to knock your ink stone on your head. Link said you were, I don't remember that at all. You must be mistaken. If you insist. Ah, now that I think about it, I remember you crouching by the pond, washing your face. I already told you I don't remember this. Use that nice clear pond water to clean your face, but that made the water all inky. So you couldn't keep washing, right? That was Shinji's idea. <laughs> On the outside, our third sister was gentle and kind, but she was actually the willi wiliest of us all. Uh. If little Neon's plan succeeds, it would be for the best. Well, yeah. Is there anyone who doesn't want to succeed? A certain foul-smelling wiki head. The basket of blunders. Who knows what he's up to? Ever since the dust up with Ling, I'll look at an ink cake and wonder if it's one of his little fragments or not. We put so much effort into making this vessel, he can just go and cut himself up however he likes. Why bother like this? He may hate all of this world, but he hates himself most of all. He is clever though, so, oh so very clever. Will he believe that a life or death struggle with Yan is what Jai, G would have liked to see? Would G like to see that? Uh, who knows? You're the only one who's still willing to talk to him after all this time. Oh, right. Speaking of clever, how about that other brother? You know, it's been a while since we've heard it from him. But he's wasn't he pretty close to you, Shu? Did you get into a fight? Sibling rivalries, right, guys? <laughs> Besides, the stinky basket of blunders, he's probably the one that the Sui regulators are most worried about. I'm even less willing to talk to that needle prick than the wanky failure. It, <clears throat> it has been a very long time since he last returned. Really? Never mind then. It doesn't matter if he's here or not. We three sisters were 
We three sisters being allowed together is all for the sake of whatever plan those old coots <laughs> gathered in town are cooking up. As they say, affairs come in no more than threes. Getting together for a family dinner every day is already making some lung upset. Sorry, my ear hurts. Well, it's getting late. I have some things to do. The both of you have been working pretty hard lately. When you're free, do come by and eat. I'll cook you up some dishes. Oh, although we can't taste the dishes from our young brother, Shu can still cook it up a mean... Why are you looking at me like that? What, did I say something wrong just now? You knew that the two of them were close. I thought that stuff happened a long time ago. Uh, it's still a sore spot. Are family relationships all that serious? Well, if you get in a fight with a sibling, it's usually over something extreme. Not some... Like, simple fights you'll eventually get over as long as you guys, like, talk it out and stuff. But, like, if you don't talk at all, then it's something bad. When you only meet your sisters every few centuries, it's normal to be a bit serious. You know... I'm even more afraid of her looking at me like that than I am of being on Dej and Ling's tongues. For once, I find myself agreeing with you. A face like she, a face like she was wronged, then refusing to say a word about it, all the while looking like it's something she can't bear to discuss. That's not like a sister at all. It's more like perhaps she's simply been alone here for far too long. It's more like a what? Come on, keep going with the drums, man. These here are the two biggest, roundest peaches from the tree I planted. Shenong, I beseech you, bless this patty for the sake of my timely graduation. I'm in my third year already, and every time, at the most critical moment, something or other goes horribly wrong. Two years ago, my task was to protect my crops from pests, but right as I was about to harvest them... <laughs> sorry. A great drought struck, and my entire experimental field withered. Last year, my task was to protect my crops from drought, but right as I was about to harvest them, a deluge of fiend struck. That's very unlucky. Shenong, please launch over us. The W25 Woozy Plate. Is set to connect to the main district today, and I pray that absolutely nothing goes wrong. I know that I've been lacking in my studies, so the moment I return, the moment I return to the Tianxi bur bureaus, I'll rededicate myself. Right now, all I ask is that this project goes smooth enough that I can go home early. Hey, you sure you've got the right place? The shrine's de dedicated to Shenong. You construction folk don't belong here. We do our best for a good harvest, but it's ultimately up to heaven. Since when do engineers need to pray for success? What do you know? Every complex field of study becomes metaphysics when you dive deep enough. It's beyond the reach of man. No matter no matter your work, it's all up to, ultimately up to heaven. Shenong was... Did she come back? The cat's back in here now. <laughs> Shenong was the first master of this land. So the best we can hope for is for her to make herself manifest and protect her humble disciples. Shenong is another Farron moot, right? <laughs> I guess you're right. Either way, we're both... Oh my god, what did I do? <laughs> Either way, we're both at the point where there's nothing more we can do. Maybe if we're sincere enough, she would actually show herself. Will you shut up already? Ouch! Ah! Peach Pits? Where'd these come from? Up in the rafters, who's there? Can't you see that there's someone trying to get an afternoon nap here? The nerve of some people, interrupting my sleep. Don't you have anywhere better to whine, whine, whine? Disturbing a dreamer is a mortal sin, you know. Where do you think you are? Are you seriously kowtowing to your ancestors about your petty request in Shenong Shrine? Out, out, out! All right, I'm going. Whoever raised this kid didn't teach her any manners. Ah! Hey, stop throwing those, they hurt! <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Look, I'll be the bigger man to let this slide, but you'd better hope I don't. Ow! Bump into you in a dark night. In a dark night. She's gonna murder? Ill tempered girl. The girl grabs the two peaches from atop the altar, carefully inspecting them for a moment, then decides to instead 
pick up an even larger one, wiping it with her sleeve and taking a bite. As long as they keep offering up their harvests at your table every time there's a big problem in the city, or their problem in the city, big or small, I'm never going to go hungry. Hey, Shenong. You don't mind if I eat these two fruits, do you? Maybe we should go back to sleep in the rafters where it's nice and cool. Where's my fan? Did that kid take it again? That annoying little brat calling me Megaphone. <laughs> Next time we meet, I'll figure out a way to steal her flute. Go to school, they say. School schmool. The only students to come out of the Chanxi bureaus are those lazy louts. What was even the point of all that schooling? Who knew that skiving off would be the this hard? Skiv skiving? Skiving? I don't know what that word is. Skivvies? Pantaloons? Chong Chong, do you know what's gone wrong with this drone? Don't you forget some stuff... Did you forget some sets while chip? I, I hate this, bro. Ooh. Sorry, I really did sleep for like four hours last night. I'm <laughs> super tired. Some steps while changing out its power source. It looks like there's some unconnected wires here. I don't know. Maybe it's some kids swiping it to play Foul Beast Wrestling. I'll get them next time and make sure to give them a right thrashing. Did it hit you when it fell out of the sky? Nick my horn just a little bit to the right, and it would have been whacked me right on the head. Most days, I saw I see you talking, talking farming with the others. I never expected you to have a knack for virginium circuits. Didn't the Chianchis teach you all how to operate it? This is a precision instrument. Please pay more attention when using it. And we don't call it a drone either. The Chianchis call it the sky pole. Okay. The first time I saw those flying around the field covering the whole thing, I thought it was a swarm of locusts. Scared me half to death. So when these gadgets jam themselves into the ground, they can tell the soil's condition and how the crops are doing? Well, we ponder how best to, po to plant our crops. The Chianchis ponder how best to help us. Farming's a lot easier than it once was thanks to these inventions. So these are like rice fields then, it looks like. Uh, okay, of course I won't get rid of the people. Yeah, these are like a lot of rice fields then. That's crazy. That's a lot of rice. Um, the season's harvest. The weather's been bust this year and every field's gone bust with it. These experimental patties in front of us, the ones in the Chan she's called Kyung Zhong, I reckon they could feel, they could yield 2,000 caddies a field. It's enough to fill our bellies, but it's far from what the Chan she's expected from their research. Give it time. We harvest twice a year now. There was a time we wouldn't have dreamed of that. In the distance, huge machines slowly lift entire chunks of farmland. The rumbles, starting a flock, startling a flock of foul beasts. The farmers in the fields, <clears throat> the fa farmers in the fields seem already used to the sight, momentarily shifting their heads before going back to their tasks at hand. Since Da Huang's, Da Huang. Mr. Wong, I don't know, uh, since Da Huang's remodeling project began, there's been a lot, there's been lots of mandarins coming in from elsewhere, and you've gotten pretty busy yourself. It's been days since I last saw you. How did you manage to get time off to visit today? The summer harvest is about to begin. Only once, <clears throat> only once you've inspected every piece of land yourself can you begin to plan. And there's also the matter of upcoming ceremonies of sacrifice. We have to take those preparations seriously. No sloppiness. You're in charge of Da Huang. You've faced worry after worry for however many years now. Seems real tiring. What's your official title again? Da Huang City Tongji? What a mouthful. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I think I'll stick to calling you Zhang Zheng. Zhang Zheng. <laughs> old <laughs> why did they have to add that to her name <laughs> no matter the name of my office i still work the same land as everyone else i'm a da Huang man Ugh. born and bred never left i heard that in some other nomadic cities out there they do their farming in high rises you're from the outside can you tell me more about the other cities that are like it's been years i don't remember myself quite remember myself the only thing that comes to mind is how the people of certain villages would get Da Huang seeds and laugh. 
saying the harvest may get any bigger this year. They could only pray that they wouldn't hit a catastrophe. I can understand how you study the seeds planted in the ground, but I don't get how you're supposed to study the sky over your heads. Over our heads. Even if the catastrophe doesn't hit the fields directly, the water supply would still get contaminated with originium, and the soil would be filled with lots of tiny crystals. It's not like equipment to grow co crops in high originium zones are cheap either. That is why we're here. Look, all fixed. The creepy little drone. Whoa. That's cool. So that's the city? It's cool seeing a city that isn't like uh, covered in ice. Or, uh, <laughs> what's the other one? Sand. In embankment circles, this uh, this land where ravines alternate between dry and flooded. Between waterways coursing 100 meters above the surface, agriculture agricultural plates hold tight to one another. This is a nomadic city still growing. As far as the new generation of Dahuang farmers er, is concerned, this is a new paradigm established by their own hands. That's cool, though. This engineering project is enough to make our bl blood run cold. Cold. Br blood run cold. Yeah. Give it another six months, at least until the soil has been moved to top the plate. The people are fine. It's stock beasts who are really freaking out. They touched the little fodder in months. They touched little fodder in months. Slimmed down a lot by the looks of it. I still feel a little uneasy every time I see a field lifted up into the sky. There will be a lot of benefits once the fields are on the mobile plates. Not only will it be much easier to access electricity and water, if a major catastrophe comes about, the Tianchis do not need to risk their lives to handle it. The fields can simply move. These are just plain old ordinary fields that we've been planning for generations. Why did the government just suddenly decide to renovate all the cropland anyway? A large harvest ensures more full bellies, meaning more strength to establish new settlements. It's a transformation. People who come back from a long trip wouldn't even recognize this place. What would Shenong say, or think, if she knew that we were moving these fields? Lane is merely taking a new form. Home itself is not leaving. I suspect Shenong would be grinning from ear to ear. Are we gonna meet this Shenong person? From the moment she arrived in this, on this plot of land, she was concerned only with how to scrape together a few measly fields with from the bitter cold wastes. Oh! Is that the... person at the from the cinematic who had the dragon flying around her? Later when the fields multiplied, so too did her ideas. She decided to plant crops in soil contaminated by originium, even planting in originium itself. That's insane. Are you saying Shenong was a genius or a fool? Either. She's just a dreamer. <laughs> Big buffalo. Dumb buffalo. Are you going to help me with my Mian Mian or not? What? No. You're so mean. Mian Mian. Mian Mian. <laughs> really likes you. You don't take treats from anyone else. Are you talking about the time it nearly picked all the parent Bon Fang saplings in my garden clean? Well, you should have put up a fence. I wanted to make sure people could get it as needed. I didn't think it'd be feeding your stock beasts. Oh, he was just a few flowers. Did you really forget the time your stock beasts ate up all the plants in Lao Shi's experimental field? What did she say again? <laughs> Grimaces. Besides, don't your stock beasts have positioning, positioning devices? The display says, ah, oh shit, I accidentally skipped it. The display says, it's over in this area. Can't you go looking for yourself? Ah, uh, you're right. Then how about you help me pick some fruit on, from the orchard? I need the ones that aren't quite ripe yet. The ones that are still sour and bitter. Go quick, I've got something really important to do with them. No, I still need to gather some samples from the fields. 
The last reports for the summer harvest were absolutely crucial. I cannot delay. Boring. Wait, is that what she said? That's hilarious. You, but you're right. Everyone's been in a bad mood lately. Like, they're not eating or sleeping enough. Didn't you say you're able to talk with them? Why not give them a good lecture on healthy eating? I did go for a talk. They told me that some really nasty things have made their way into Da Huang. Are you talking about the new nomadic plates? Don't be stupid. The stock beasts talk to me, but they're not as smart as people. How should they know what the things are? I'm not that smart either. I just know that <laughs> I just know the work being done in the fields right now is really important. Why not take a break? I give the new guy some of your work. Does it really matter who gets the numbers out of the sky poles? He doesn't know anything. When he first showed up, he couldn't tell the difference between wheat and sorghum. Everything he does, I end up having to do all over it again to fix his mistakes. I have no idea why Lao Shi asked him, me to teach him. But he's a really fast he's a really fast runner, so maybe he can help me find Mian Mian. Right, I'll go ask him. You what? Hey! Lao Shi invited him here specifically to help with the farming. He can't Fine, I'll go with you. Wait a sec. Way, new guy! Drop your busy work. Come help me find my stock beast. Mischievous girl. Oh, hello. Summer sun shines brightly while cicadas chirp away happily, and the patties of youth clumsily harvest rice. Drops of sweat big, big as beans Ugh, streaking down his face. The muscles in his arms are well built, but without proper knowledge of how to use them, they are useless for reaping the slender stalks in this, with his sickle. After slaving away for most of the day, he has only managed to harvest a single bundle of rice. His mandarin coat hangs off of a pillar. A few foul beasts who were hunting for stray grains instead decide to show great interest in this unfamiliar garment. Pecking at the hanging... Oh, pecking at the hanging belts with their beaks. Oh, yeah, I guess that they are belts. Whew. Good day already? There's still so much left to do. Originite Prime, guys! I get to have more Originite Prime! Ah, oh, shit. I don't have a lot of energy. Good thing that I probably don't have a lot of time to do much then. Ah. I, I won't matter it's level one three months ago what the broken line is the man line not the earth line so it's an addled brain i'll need to worry about not some illness huh <laughs> told you that walnut tree that he was planted for you go give it the fertilizer before it's too late uh what the hell oh i just got a text one second I wouldn't say that. The broken line just means that you'll face a difficult decision around the age of 20. But who gets to walk a path without a few twists and turns? Just let it be. The, the line runs much smoother after that, doesn't it? That's right, on the mark. My family my family farm was ruined by catastrophe when I was 23. I didn't know how I could make a living in the city. But I've done well for myself. Coming with the rest of the folk of, to Dan Huang to study agriculture and keeping in my old occupation. Wow. No one can predict fate. It's only a justification for what happened. I've heard about the wonders of the Tian Chi's, but I didn't expect you to know so much. A young girl like you is already a Shao Tian Chi at your age? Shu? Oh, it's her! I, I didn't even put it together that it was her. That's funny. We all gain wisdom at our own pace. I simply pass on the knowledge that I learned sooner than others. Remarkable. Remarkable. Say, that young man over there... He's been staring at you for a while. Do you know him? Ah. Uh, a guest. Sorry. We'll talk another time. Ah. Zha Li. Candle holder of the Sweet Regulator. Here to review the development of Jia Huang and matters relating to the Sweet. There are no... Why does it keep flashing like that? One second. Okay. Your cooperation is much appreciated, Madam Shu. Ah, so you're the new candle holder I've heard so much about. Yes, this is a customary review. It will not get in the way of your agriculture's research. Feel free to go about your business as usual. You're young. 
do you even count as an adult yet? What? This place is pretty far out of the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Did your journey go well? Any troubles with bandits? A few bandits are no trouble for me. Regarding work on the 12 pagodas in five cities, Sweet Regulator hopes that you will cooperate with the Ministry of Engineering to advance the project smoothly and that you will maintain a cordial relationship with the Tianchi bureaus. In addition, there are some matters that require... Oh, you can walk through the fields if you want, as long as you don't step on the crops. But you should give the Tianchis a heads up if you want to visit the factory. I understand the scope of my work, Madam Shu. I still have... That's the house the last candle holder used. It's been refurnished and ready for use. I... That's all. Any questions? Uh, no? Good. I have a lot to do in the fields, so I'll take... I'll leave... I'll take my leave. I'll leave them I take. Just ask around if you need any help. People here are very friendly to outsiders. Visitors, I mean. Bum, 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 bum. Way. Way. Excuse me. Are you... <laughs> I'm on official business. Here. What's this? A lunchbox? You're hungry, aren't you? You've been standing here, there all day with, like a scarecrow. You even know how to get food on your own? Oh. Uh... Oh, she? I don't know what that means. You like it? Yes, it's very good. You're just gonna eat without doing any work? <laughs> Mind your manners, grain buds. This gentleman is a guest. What you said everyone in Da Huang needs to sweat in the fields before you eat. This strange boy says he's on official business, but he's not working the fields or building houses. What's he here for? He has his own job to do. What, like staring? Yes, just staring. Ahem. <laughs> Is there something I can help with? Let me think. Do you know how to work a planting machine? No. I didn't think so. You don't deal with farming equipment in your line of work. This little cube is a six-faced... Six-phase monitor. Use it to place pylons at appropriate locations in the fields. And we'll be able to monitor conditions zone by zone. Can you use it? I never touched anything like it before. Feeding stock beasts? <laughs> well... If you're going to be here for a while, perhaps you could learn how to do some farm work. You could start by clearing the weeds. Is that you, Laoshi? I... Good timing, Zhao Hei. This is... A distant cousin of mine from the capital. He came to see Da Huang. My student, Hei Sheng, will He'll teach you. Huh? Huh? So he's the useless one that he was complaining about? That's hilarious. Zhao Li is useless in the fields. Is this where the positioning device says the stock beast is? Yeah, when I blow this whistle, Mian Man will know I'm looking for him and come out. Positioning device? There's one on every stock beast in Da Huang. They're not very precise, but they give us an idea of their luff location. Luff location. Every single one? There must be thousands of stock beasts in Da Huang. Well, we got a, a lot of stray stock beasts. The ones that the older students kept for research had a tendency to elope. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar, familiar with such things. Why did you join the army of your relatives of Lao Shi's? No important reason, really. It's your family, uh, all mandarins? Why do you ask? The way you talk, and the manner you carry yourself in general. Not a lot of pe people of your age around here like that. Except for a few blue blood families. I mean no offense. I didn't say you offended anyone. Weird. Why isn't he coming out? Mian Mian had a fight with Zhao Biar the other, a few days ago. Is that why he ran away? Did he get pulled in by a female again? <laughs> what? But he likes Zhao Biar. They're always together when I take them out to the mud pond. Not like that, candlestick. C candlestick? I'll draw a picture of him. Memorize it and we'll split up to look for him. What is it gonna look like? Uh, it's a, a very good drawing. Are you serious? I, after all the times I spent caring for the stock bees, can barely tell it's Mian Mian. <laughs> Four legs and some spots. What's so hard? Have you seen a stock beast candlestick? <laughs> Not often. It's okay. You haven't seen stock beasts. I haven't seen nomadic cities. We've all got things that we've never seen before. Have you never been outside to other cities? No, but I heard the, about them from Xiao He. The rice that we produce every each year is sent outside. They're developing new crops so that people outside can have lots to eat. 
You have plenty of chances. No rush. I like this place. Oh yeah, take a whiff of this. Alcohol? Rice wine soup. My favorite snack. See where the see where the steam's rising? That's the brewery. We can stop by on our way. So there are breweries here. Part of the harvest is saved for brewing. The oldest batch is more than a hundred years old. Do you drink? I did once. Try wine made from maize leaves. It was a gift from a farmer on a mission. It was a very strong taste. Almost made me gag. He said it would warm us up, but we didn't expect it to be like that. He said they barely had enough to eat and didn't have the luxury of brewing with grain. People out there still don't have enough to eat? The land is very the land is vast. There are big differences between regions. I hear something. Over there. Wow, candlestick, you sure can jump. We'll find me a man soon enough. Our drones can fly higher than that, and we have the positioning device to help us. No need to wait over there. A fire? Who caught the place on fire? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Assistant Minister of Engineering. Three months? Three months. This project is no small thing, and every segment needs time to ensure that there are no problems. Three months is already an optimistic side on the optimistic side. Twelve pagodas in five cities isn't a poetic quote. Is isn't just a poetic quote. You know how long the prototype has simmered in the minds of the Chanchis, from generation to generation. Of course, the first step is always the hardest. Though I'm a humble paper pusher. I've had the honor to study at the Chanchi bureaus myself. My... Fuck. But I'm hardly content with sitting behind a desk and drinking tea while staring at my Chanchi apparatus. Three months. That was how long it took us to up in the north in heavy wind and snow. Think carefully and give me an answer. How long will it take for the mission to... Mission... Take for the finish. How long will it take to finish the assembly of the last two plates in the Da Huang core section? Maybe a little more than a month, given enough energy and supplies. There's no need to worry about energy. I have already given instructions for the supplies. Uh, I keep doing that. Your only concern is the project's progress. At such a distance, simply transporting supplies is a massive undertaking. Every day delayed represents a huge expenditure of money and resources. There is no place for complacen complacency for the sake of the people and the hard-earned taxes they pay. We're in the sixth, sixth month of the year now. I sincerely hope you will be reunited with your families by mid-autumn. Uh, sometimes you just have to ruffle the feathers a little. I'm sorry you had to see that. Three months in the north? You were talking about the Danyan project. The city was closed due to heavy snow. The Imperial Court decided to put things on hold until conditions improve, but when the messenger arrived, he found that the Tianxi is in command had rammed the frozen originium layer open with a segment of the city, rescuing tens of thousands of villagers who were trapped in the wintry condition. The textbooks still celebrate the story. The event took took you to the the event took you to the position you hold today, Mr. Minister Wan. There was no need to be so humble. You flatter me. I'm simply an engineer who worked his way up slow worked his way slowly up the Chanchi ranks. It's not my place to hold my nose in the air. But bringing this up is is he a human? It's crazy seeing just a human. But bringing this up is what it takes to get a bunch of stressed and overworked Chanchis to listen to me. Seems like you're confident that construction of the 12 pagodas in the five cities will progress smoothly even if i'm confident everything has been so rushed there can be flaws in the best laid plans i will be counting on your backup in that case assistant Mi minister ning ning kikui kiku <sighs> do you like my song i hope you did that's what i'm here for now you've only just arrived in da huang I assume you're not familiar with the place yet. Your hurts. It may not be as prosperous as the heartland, but it is rich with gifts from the earth. The many delicacies made from local produce are a delight. Have you had the chance to try the local Wudao porridge? The Wudao porridge porridge, for example? I'm afraid not. 
Zhihuang's Wu Dao Zhao is one of a kind. The five beans, Wu Dao, are red, black, mung, soy, and white. They complement each other, but it is a local rice that truly makes the Dahuang Wudu porridge stand out. The wonderful fragrance and the rich flavor of the Dahuang rice elevate an ordinary bowl of porridge to the symbol of Dahuang's culinary culture. The five beans each have their own flavor, but it is the rice that makes it or breaks the meal. Cooking it is cooking it is, therefore, far more than just dumping the ingredients into a pot and lighting the stove. He controls the key. The five beans must not be allowed to usurp the rice at the center stage. Else, it becomes just an ordinary bowl of grain porridge. You really must try it, when you have the time. I will. On another note, uh, ugh, how is High Minister Ning? Oh, High Minister. Oh, right, because the last name is, the, is pronounced first, usually. Grandfather is getting on in age, but he has been fortunate to avoid major illness. Nevertheless, I hope he will be mindful of his health. Perhaps I should bring a little token when I report back to Bao Zai. Bai Zhao. The thought will suffice. Given Dao Huang's ties with the Sui, I expect I will. I will have plenty of dealings with the Sui regulator and the Ministry of Rights. I have long been in awe of, of High Minister Ning's achievements, but age spares none of us. It would be better for the High Minister to be less involved in particular matters. If my presence here in Da Huang is unwelcome, I can certainly submit a letter to the Grand Tutor immediately. You misunderstand. I only meant that the Ning family must be delighted that you have risen to the post of the Assistant Minister at such a young age, and that your grandfather must have taught you well. Assistant Minister Wan. Yes? If you simply intend to say the young and inexperienced Ning Kikwu is not fit to work with the legendary Qian Shi of Danyan, you'll have here no argument from me. But as long as we're working as with one another, if you say so, if you have something to say, just say it. Stop thinking yourself clever by beating around the bush. A truly clever man would be much more amicable than you. I'll take my leave. She got mad. Bro should just shut his damn mouth. Water, water! Good thing the fire just started right by the river. Why did you start a fire by the forest? Arson is a serious crime. I didn't do it on purpose. The foul beast was another student's project ate my project. All it left was an egg. I'll get my revenge by cooking the egg. No, not revenge. I'll cook the egg in memory of my lost project. <laughs> Enough of that crap. The fire's starting to spread. Stomp it out. I have a hoe. We can take. We can make a control line when the winds are calm. I'll clear my vet. Any vegetation in the back, and stop the fire from spreading that way. He just runs into the fire. So it wasn't even like someone trying to attack them. This dude just caught the place on fire on accident. Oof. Uh, uh, uh. Oink. <laughs> That was not an oink. What the fuck? Also, it looks like the burden beasts from Lake Silburnahers. Man, man? Oink. Found you. What are you doing here? Hey, tell me. Do you like Zhao Bar or not? Where did Zhao Le go? He said he was going to clear the vegetation, but I don't see him anywhere. Did he lose his way? Oink. Should we look for him? Oink. <laughs> Zhao. I'm right here. I didn't find uh, Mian Mian, but I did find this parrot in a nest. Zhao is carrying two stock beasts foals in his robes. They are so young that they have yet to open their eyes. You shouldn't have brought back foals so young. I shouldn't? If I checked the area and the mother was nowhere to be found. They wouldn't have survived for long if left to their own devices. Isn't it better to bring them back so that we can survive under your supervision? We're not supervisor, we're friends. We help each other out. They give us wool. We give them tasty hay. Chase away bugs and scratch their itches. We don't know if they're carrying any diseases or if they have been, they, or if they can be domesticated. Plus, but they've got his scent on them. The mother shouldn't have left. Oh, the mother wouldn't have them, even if she came back. That's why he shouldn't have touched them. Well, he already did. So we need to take care of them. Why do you keep standing up for him? He's clearly in the wrong. He doesn't know anything. 
I'm doing this because he doesn't know anything. I... Never mind. I'll go back and ask the teachers what to do with the little guys. Let's hurry. Or they might catch a cold. What the fuck are you? Oh, you again. Have you had lunch? There's a fire here and you don't talk at all. You would have gotten burned if it wasn't for us. Keep your distance, grain buds. He might swing an axe at you. <laughs> he won't. He calms down when I play my flute. He likes to hear me play. I'd want to leave if that was the sound she blasted at me too. See? <laughs> you all say not to come here. But I come all the time when no one's looking. I just can't cross the river. He calms down when I play this tune. I've seen him smile. I can even lean over to touch his axe. <laughs> That's... Okay. He's always keeps his hand clenched around it, but he... What the fuck? Ouch! Why'd you hit me? Now you're mad at me? Oh no, now you've made me mad. I'm not bringing you any treats next time. That's enough, Grain Buds. Let's go. Foles, we're bringing them back. Next time, think before you act. I... What am I doing here? Poor dude. Live oh. up to duty. Blocks the water flow. Hmm. I guess the first thing I should do is just place the flame tail. A new there. challenge. That'll just be the first thing I do for now. So I'm unsure as to what the challenge will be later. Let's also place. Job. Just slimes. Come on, let's pick up the okay. pace. We'll Forward. Courier there for some more vanguard. We create a diversion. I can't wait to make her uh Is it my turn? level eighty. I just need to get uh the ah, chips for her. Sight. Defeated causes blight to the patty and becomes invisible when on blighted tiles. Rock and roll! Feels bad to lose your target, doesn't it? Oh shit. Oh wait. Your orders. Oh, here I am! Come on! Let's pick ah, up the pace! I see. I, I made opinion? her promotion two, and then I didn't change her ability. I'm smart. Really intelligent. Apple pie. Ha -ha, losing sight. Hey, dummy. There you are. Mission accomplished. I assume the blight deals a lot of damage. I'm going to have to read that when we get out of this. I don't know how Dagon Record just died. This is a report on the Shanghai Zhang and the catastrophe countermeasures and review of my own accounts. I am sorry I let you down, Father. Now, I'll... No need. You don't have to participate in humans' return to the capital anymore. But, are you giving me a suspension? It's not my place to interfere with the Sui regulator's appointments, but as the warden of human, I have the authority over military personnel assignments. There's an important mission for you to undertake, away from human. It's planting season in Da Huang, in the north, and they're short-handed. Go and help them. Planting season? You mean agriculture? That's the important mission? Is that not important? I understand that agriculture is the lifeblood of the nation, and I've heard about Da Huang, but I don't understand. Why me? So you might see. And after I see, you think. You ready to depart? Once you've completed the mission, hand over. One last thing, Father. I discovered some suspicious activity when investigating Shushan Hai Zhang's movement. They appear to be familiar with human patrol schedules and routes. If they really managed to obtain intelligence on humans' defenses, I have spoken. This is not your concern anymore. Oh, fathers. <laughs> Oh, it's him. Never forget what all you do is for. 
Man, like, you can't be trusted. He's shitting on himself pretty hard, guys. <laughs> oh, it's him! Working in the fields day and practicing Kung Fu by night for a whole month. You must be exhausted. Yun, it's you. You were focused, but I didn't achieve anything. I didn't own, even know what I'm doing here. Perhaps by focusing <clears throat> on improving myself here, I'll be able to do what I couldn't before. Well, perhaps. You know, there's this old Lungman Kung Fu movie. The hero was an arrogant and haughty swordsman who spent all his life pursuing martial perfection, which always seemed just out of reach. His fortunes took an ill turn when he lost everything. Fame, fortune, reputation, even one of his arms. Now, a broken man, he found himself in a tiny remote village. There, he lived amongst the peasants, eating with the lowly folk who used to lie beneath his notice. For three years, he chopped his own firewood and boiled his own water, not touching his sword even once. He finally drew his blade when his enemies came for him. To his surprise, his sword struck with a fear that he'd never known before. Are you, are you saying that I'm arrogant and haughty? I'm telling you what happened in the movie. <laughs> He's like, yes, but no. <laughs> Do things like that happen in reality? To my knowledge, of course not. The audiences love it, though. Back to basics, the proud humbled, that sort of thing. However, it is true that one's temperament has an effect on many things. Have you felt your perspective change since you left human? I don't feel like it has at all. How about a break? Water? Thanks, I have a question myself. Why did you come with me? Why not stay in human? You're traveling across Yan as a candle holder. I felt like I could learn a lot by accompanying you in your journeys. I didn't even realize that she was calling him Candlestick earlier. I was de mo sent here by father. You could have learned just as much by going back to the capital with Yumin. I went with Lao Shi to Bai Zhao. It was prosperous, but little less. Little else. Da Huang uh, seemed more interesting. You're talking like you're on a holiday. <laughs> I don't understand what father wants me to see. What have you seen then, during your time in Da Huang? I... what have I seen? Da Huang... Huang... It's probably Huang, isn't it? I don't know. Used to be one of the rare places without much originium pollution due to the unique geography, making it important Yanis bread basket since antiquity. But thanks to the hard work of the agricultural John Chi's arable land area is growing year after year. Construction has begun on defenses against potential catastrophes. Currently, the city has 16 large plates, some 60 or so small plates, 730 Tian Chi's, Jesus, and a population exceeding 50,000. Despite its remote, remote location, the people are content and hardworking. Is that all? Just some insignificant details. Insignificant, eh? What about you? Did you find any sites that you can't, you couldn't have seen with the Grand Master? Well, for example, the couple next door had a big fight after dinner last night. The husband had gone on a journey last month and found the other cities to be much more interesting. He wanted to move away. I saw the pair of fowl beasts that make their nest in that tree outside, taking turns to hunt and sit on their eggs. The eggs should hatch any day now. I also saw the strange sight that was Tian Shi's of all vocations coming together to fret, even cry their hearts out before Shenong's statue. The strangest scene is I saw, however, was that of a few animals making a fool of a young kung fu master. Uh, did you find the stock beast? When did you? Many years ago, the Grand Master instructed me in the moves of all the various schools of Kung Fu and had me record the, the clashes with experts from those myriad schools, but my innate condition prevents me from studying the martial arts. I said you must be exhausted, working in the fields day by, working in the fields by day and practicing Kung Fu by night. I envy you as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Even so, the Grand Master allowed me to follow him allowed someone who could not study Kung Fu to watch you do so. He didn't tell me what I was supposed to learn, only that I should pay attention to detail and accuracy. I recorded and studied according to his instructions. Then I began to realize that Kung Fu isn't just about moves. The Grand Master's philosophies 
on the fists are also philosophies on life, and every action or lack thereof corresponds to the natural laws of wax and wane. <laughs> this wisdom amazed me even further, focusing on the infinite mysteries of Kung Fu. Where do you even start? Sweet Regulator's Kung Fu is not just for self-defense, but also to suppress the enemy and protect the innocent. Ugh. I don't think one should draw too many conclusions about it. It's just a skill. Right. I later realized that it wasn't so complicated. Kung Fu is just Kung Fu. No more, no less. I didn't learn this through the study of the martial arts. I learned this wisdom from everyday life as I grew older and wiser, correlating it with Kung Fu. Wisdom isn't about one thing, it's about everything. Everything. The ma the Grand Master wrote in the Book of Arms, See the others through the self. Remain upright and wait for the proper time. He means that... What he means is that one must ensure that one's posture is upright and firm, then seek the opportunity for victory. No matter the situation, one must remain composed, unaffected by outside matters. <laughs> What's that? You look like you saw a ghost. There you are, candlestick. You so you were with ink brush. I was looking for you all day. Dude, that sound is awful. <laughs> Rice experiment area fought A. So he's feeling like inadequate. Oh shit. Keep doing that. He's feeling like inadequate to what his father expects. And his father sent him away on a mission that's important, but he doesn't see the importance of it. And it's probably just, it's its probably exactly like the movie did. It's like he has to humble himself a little bit and realize that all steps of everything is important. And that girl needs to stop playing that damn flute thing. Because that's so annoying. Um, That's cool. Rice experiment area A. Soil originium activity was 20% during the growing period. Total production was approximately 320 caddies. Experiment area B, 23% originium activity, 150 caddies production. A area C, 25%, blah, 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 blah. Wait, did that say zero? Almost zero crop survival. Wow. Negligible change from last season's data or the season before. The same goes for the cr other crop experiment areas. I see. You don't look disappointed at all. No point trying to rush things. We take one step at a time. 25% remains the critical line. Plant survivability drops off per precipitously. Precipitous precipitously. Precipitously. Once <laughs> soil originium activity exceeds that level. This applies to both cash crops and cover crops. Yet. The figure remains much lower than the level of natural soil originium activity in the vast majority of regions. Thinking about giving up? No, I'm just not sure. If this is the only result, then there is no way to expand the application to the Wang Kings, the 10,000 King of Fertile Fields project. All these years and nothing to show for it. Not even a bud of hope. 15%, 25 years ago, that was the critical line that had us st stumped. It took nine generations. Jesus. It took us nine generations of crop before we found an originium resistant variant in the corner of one of the plates. You know the Chanchis kept going for this long? Did you know that people used to fertilize the fields with fluids from the Dahuang fibrous slug in order to protect crops from the impact of virginium? Yes, but it's just folklore. There's no scientific basis to it. Virginium doesn't infect plants like it does animals. It only changes the... Yes. Wait, what? Did that skip something? Yes, but that's what people in the past came up with when the technology wasn't so advanced. The result of coincidence and misunderstanding. It's kind of funny if you look... If you think about this scene from the perspective of them, like, their character, how they're standing. She's, like, threatening him with a sword, and he has a gun. <laughs> or is that a sword, too? I don't even know. It looks like a gun, though. And they're just standing there with their weapons out. We tried so many different things just to carve out a little piece of farmland for ourselves. 
It took generations after generations of trial and error to get agriculture to where it is today. As you said, the Wang King project is one where hope is hard to come by. Perhaps many years later, people will look back at us the same way we look back at the ancients who fertilized their fields with fibrous sog fluids. Only one thing is clear though, plates on their own can't produce enough food for everyone. People will always go hungry in the remote villages, places where the nomadic city can't reach. I'm willing to believe that one day we'll break the shackles of Originium and then we'll truly have the 10,000, the 10,000 king of, is that king? I'm just going to say king, of fertile land fields. A certain someone said to, that to me once upon a time. Do you mean still working on the lab at this hour? The power bills keep piling up. Oh, it's her. Okay. I'm just here to submit some data. I'll be going now. Oh, Zhao Hei. Haven't seen you in for a while. Look how tall you've grown. Why didn't you stay for dinner? Er, sorry, I er, uh, have things to do in the fields. Excuse me. Why does he always look like he's terrified of me? You're the big boss of Dae Huang. People should be scared of you. Doesn't mean everyone will listen to me. Isn't the, uh, isn't the hour a little late to still be working? All right, all right, I'll be going. Workaholics. All right, right, guys? That's not me. Cooking soup so late is rather tiring. Hmm, smells good. Who are you treating? Your sisters or that relative of yours who came to visit? What's his name? Zhao Lei? Everyone's working hard in preparation for the summer's harvest. The soup is for the hardest worker. Do you have to poke fun at me for dinner? A little mean, don't you think? Then bring the bowl over. All right. Boom. All my life, I've been dealing with this thing, with things that grow from the soil. Now I have to learn everything about engineering from scratch. And it's not easy dealing with the Ministry of Engineering, arguing all day about the assignment of the few Tianxi's. And it's even more tiring than farm work. Eat up then. You've definitely lost a few caddies. Sure, except three huge pieces of rib in one bowl. You're just trying to burst my stomach? Three's plenty. One more and I'll go <laughs> going to spill over. Spilled soup would make a mess and it's even worse when someone gets burned. You can put it down if you don't want it. That won't do. So much effort went into the soup. We can't let it go to waste. Do you have to talk like that today? I'm just talking about this bowl of ribs and the now soup. The ribs come from the lovingly raised meat beasts, while the Lan now comes from ponds that we dug with our own hands. The soup represents the efforts of generations of people and of our uh, and of your efforts all these years. We must not allow what should not be here to ruin this hard-won soil. After all these years, you... So many years, I have almost forgotten how I came to know you. Sometimes I wish I really did. If only you were... Just a diligent non non gay. Sound like I said non gay. What the hell? Non gay, Dian Shi, and me, a humble farmer. But I could never forget. Even if I forgot, someone would help me remember. The scrolls of the Sui regulator remember. The list of the fallen candle holders remember. Say no more. You know what I mean. When I'm concerned about your brother. One person can fool another, but no one can fool time. It took me the better part of my lifetime to come to trust you. I don't have the time to let to trust another. He shouldn't have come back at this time like this, Shu. Don't make things difficult for me. Who's the brother? They keep saying the brother. Good evening, grain buds. Inkbrush, why are you standing so far away? All right, I promise. I know your book isn't a sketchbook, and I won't add faces to the people in it. Sketchbook? Does she mean your record of martial combat? My fault. <laughs> Don't ever let the Grand Master or Queen Bee see it. I know. Although, come to think of it, they might like the cartoonish style. <laughs> Were you looking for me, Green Buds? Here, this is for you. A bracelet? Weaved from Malen Mian Mian's Fool. Thank you, Gift, for bringing him home today. I didn't do anything except cause problems. No, don't think too much about what Xiao Hei said. 
He's all right most of the time, but he gets all angry and stubborn when it comes to farming. All the young Tianxi's, he tells are scared of him. <laughs> He's already a Xiaoye Tianxi? I think. He takes over Shu's lessons when she's busy. There are so many kinds of Tianxi. I just can't keep track of them all. Say, why are you called Candlestick anyway? Candle holder? Yeah! It's so weird. Nobody uses candles anymore. The title Candle Holder comes from... Never mind. It means that I'm just one of Yan's official messengers. Well... Mind that you don't accidentally set the letters on fire. <laughs> what are you snickering at, sketchbook ink brush? Nothing, candlestick messenger. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, the sky grows dark. The summer breeze brings the fresh scent of earth. Insects sing amongst the grass and the stars arise. There's a figure wandering not far away in grain bugs. Bugs. Grain Buds picks it up right away. What? Oh, her name is literally Grain Buds. I I didn't pick that. Put that together. So hey, when are you gonna come over? Are you still angry that I asked you to help get the Chinchis to register the foals? I'm not angry. I'm just exhausted after dealing with the foals he brought back. Oh, do you need to go to bed? And we need to name the pair. They were found together. I've got an idea. Let's name them. Mm. Zhao Man like grain buds and Zhao He like grain stock. No way. He's he Shang. Oh hey Shang sits down on the grass. I'm like he who's he? <laughs> Sorry if you're still angry at me. I'm not really angry at you. Candlestick, what is a messenger like you doing in Da Huang? You're not delivering letters, just playing with us all day. I made a mistake. Father sent me here to learn. But I'm not sure what I'm supposed to learn, or how I'm supposed to learn it. In my old job, there were a lot of things that hadn't been cleared up, but Father let wouldn't let me investigate. I'm not even sure what I'm doing here. Wow, your dad's scary. When the teachers of the Tianxi Bureau scold the kids even younger than me, they say that if you don't behave, your Baba and Mama will come and punish you. Well, Candlestick got punished by his Baba, <laughs> but I've made so many mistakes. So why don't my Baba and Mama come and punish me? Your parents? Shu says my parents are Tianxi's in the place far away. They're in, they're in a farm up north. <laughs> but she never told me what they do or why they don't hear from them. The Xiong Zhang says my parents named me Zhao Man or Grain Buds. But because they think that we should be content with the little things like grains in the field. General Zhao must be hoping that you'll live a happy and carefree life, Zhao Li. The Grand Master must hope that you will be content and comfortable in whatever situation then, Yun. Yun. Come to think of it, I never got the chance to ask you your name. Yun Kingpin. Kingpin? Kingping. People sometimes say it sounds like a girl's name. I don't know, it's nice. It reminds me of Lotus Ponds in Summer. Zhao He's name was the story behind it too. The farmers found him in a rice field. The old folks <laughs> thought he was born from the rice crops, which is how he got a name that means rice stock. Shu still has a picture of from back then. I'll bring it tomorrow. Grain buds. Everyone loves that photo. Candlestick and inkbrush will should see it too. Why doesn't Hei Sheng <laughs> get a nickname beyond Zhao Hao? Zhao Hao. Zhao Hei, even. Why not contribute one? Grain buds here seems quite amendable to suggestions. The summoner, su the summoner, the summer evening breeze ugh, brushes that hair, their hair to the accom accompaniment of cicada songs. Well, I guess that is a cicada. We didn't get cicadas this year where I live. We were supposed to get a lot, and like, we just didn't. Until now, like now there's the cicadas and normally they were like earlier in the year. I don't know, it's just weird. A few fireflies take to the air while stars fall from the sky. Grain Buds in, is no longer chasing the fireflies. She sits on the grass smelling the night dew, panting from the breeze. Yeah, I used to uh, chase fireflies all over the place. They were so fun to catch and it tickled so bad when they'd walk around. There is no room for gloom or worry in the heart of the young and innocent. 
She only has eyes for the sincere joy of the present. Aww! That's so cute! He seems happier for once. Look, shooting stars! According to Shu, the old Shenong stories say that crops grow well where the shooting stars fall. Should we go and see where they fell? She said that <laughs> to get you to come down from your tree and go to bed. You seriously think it's true? Of course I do! But it's very far away. Way beyond Da Huang. Then we'll leave Da Huang. What if they fell on the edge of heaven? Then we'll go to the edge of heaven. I'll go. You'll come too, Zhao Hei. And the rest of you too. There's a lot of time to look for them before the sun rises. Maybe we'll never find them. And keep waiting until we're all grandpas and grandmas. Searching for stars? Huh. Yes, searching for the stars. Has it occurred to you that this may be what you're supposed to be looking for? Stars? Yeah! Come, let's cross the stream. Hey, Jelly. How old are you? 19. Hmm. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm older than you. Wait, what are you talking about over there? Tomorrow is Zhao, Zhao Ji. Da Huang will be holding the Shen... The Shenong Festival, welcoming Shenong with songs and costumes. Let's go have some fun. Did you say you wanted to look for the stars? I said until the sun rises. The Shenong Festival? That's not, f that's not for fun, is it? Of course it is. They put on plays and fairs, and there's a lot to eat. The Zhang Zhang say, says everybody, everybody has been working so hard. We should relax a little. Zhao Hei is going. I'm going to play the flute. There are other shows too. God, anyone that goes there, ears will bleed. All right, I'll go and see. I'll see and think. I think we did all right. I think we did all right. Did we do all right? Cruz. Auto play is now available. Thanks, game. Oh, my leg hurts. Oh, it's a training. As long as there's no story, I'll do it real quick. Would any of you like to be my paint? What? Hmm, not a bad idea to do some sightseeing here when no one can bother me. Huh? Are those farmland pests? They're called filth. That's hilarious. I didn't even realize. No, something's up. Too difficult to explain. Let me paint it for you. Well, Don't go cool. too far. Hmm. Sure enough, they're polluting the fields. Yes, this. Sky poles have detected traces of blight. Our battlefield is this time takes place on farmland. Other than holes and passages, the entire field is covered with shallow water. It seems like blight can spread through the water and through all connected ground tiles. Luckily, we have throttle valves to partition the fields. You can do. Ah, oh, I didn't read it. Left side here, right side here. Blight will no longer spread to the other body of water. Here to help. We have enemies coming. All right, don't let the blight spread any further. Whoa, that hurts. The blight spreads by these creatures will by these creatures will pollute the shallow water. Operators standing in the unpolluted farmland will restore HP over time. Oh, so the normal water heals allies, but the damaging water will damage allies. Okay, but if they are deployed on polluted tiles, they'll take a large burst of arts damage. And also take continuous arch damage over time. Anyone can continuously pollute the water. The more serious the pollution, the more damage operators will take in the water. You can judge how polluted the water is in an area from its color from checking the sky pole. Hold on, cardigan. Okay. Attacks nearby throttle valves. Gains invisibility when on blighted towels. Wait. It'll attack those? I am rather attached to you, most of the time. All right. 
So we're attacking the throttle valve. That's a field mouse, a major problem for many farmers. They have adapted to modern farming tech methods. And they exclusively like to target throttle valves. I'll help you guys out. Copy the infinite with the tangible. Bring the intangible to There's life. Too many of them. I can't block them all. And the throttle valve is destroyed. Light will spread once the throttle valve is destroyed, but it doesn't happen instantly. The Chanshis have provided us with another throttle valve. Block the same opening from earlier and keep the farmland separated. Or you can pull back your defenses and partition off more of the areas to prevent blight from spreading even more. I'll let you decide what happens next on the battlefield, Doctor. Please take command of your operators and continue the fight. Yeah, yeah, fine. Ready to heal. Here. With the setting of the sun, the brush draws up the peaks. Oh, she's Time for so. business. Boop. 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 Doesn't matter to me. Catch. Hey, Copy catch. the infinite with the tangible. Bring oh, the intangible okay. to life. Okay, so that makes sense. And because this water got blighted, you can't get rid of the blight, even if you place one there. Okay. This mechanic, I can see, will become very annoying. <laughs> but it should be handleable as long as I'm smart. Handleable? Manageable, hard work, even. Even an idiot can get the job done. Hey, see? He agrees with me. <laughs> um. Okay. That was the f first part to here are people sows. Sows? Sows. Sows. Because it's farmland. Skyfalls. These are very creepy looking, and I don't know why. Probably because it's such it's so like cube shaped. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I'm gonna farm this off camera so I can get um, a lot of this shit. Because this is a lot of shit. Let's be real. Um, I need this. I need this now. Okay. I'll farm a lot off camera so I can get a lot of that filled out. Um, anyways, though, that was the end of this episode. Um, that was a lot of fun. I liked the cinematic a lot, and I liked reading this part a lot. And it's cool that it's also adding parts of the Farron moot in as well inside the giant cube thing, which I assume is that tiny cube that's back there. There's a ton of fun to learn about the different things, and it's also cool that he's in this again, so it's like a character that's returning for me, and that's always fun, in my opinion. Um, that's it, though, for me. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe. I love having you guys around. Um, leave a comment on anything that I said wrong or other things I should try. Also, leave a comment about what the hell this thing is because i haven't tried one and i don't know what i'm going to be doing with this so just leave a comment Doctor, and explain that and that'll help a lot is today, um, yes? next time i'll actually use degenbrecker's third ability and not the first ability <sighs> if you want to join the discord though link will be in the description hop in and tell me how you're enjoying the series uh if you want to support the channel the Ko-Fi will also be in the description. If you want to buy me a coffee, I'll appreciate it a lot. I have nothing else to say, though. So, you better have a good night. And bye bye